like our scene at the hotel this morning. Pick up time. Load them up. Not you and it had worked out and you didn't have a hotel. You you would definitely be somebody oh. that we would say, oh, you get to stay at our house and take showers. We're back. We're back at the trailhead. And there goes Patty. Oh my goodness, she was awesome. Okay, that was so incredibly nice. Um, and Patty has a house in Steamboat Springs, so we're ever in Colorado. We're gonna get in touch with her. So we could not resist. Um, we had to take that ride. So we're back, we're here now, and we're gonna eat up whatever we didn't have time to eat, tape up our blisters, put on our shoes, and trail is right here. to Highway 58 and Abel Rivera. I'm a trail angel here in Tehachapi. Nice. I try to help uh, any hikers that they need help and uh, welcome to Tehachapi. Ah, oh, thank you. Or why to Tehachapi. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And you had seen us when we came into Tehachapi. Yes. That's so funny. Yes. yes. Awesome. We were having lunch at that uh, German bakery. Ah, oh, nice. As you guys were walking across the street and uh, I don't know where you guys were headed. Oh, you were breakfast. looking for a uh, breakfast place. Yeah. yeah. Food. I, I saw that comment on YouTube. Yeah. 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 And do you guys have trail names? I'm Cotton. Cotton? Hummingbird. Cotton and Hummingbird. Awesome. Father and daughter. Yeah, nice. Awesome. Have an awesome hike. Thank you. That gentleman, Abel, um, from Tehachapi, said he had seen us on YouTube and he had left us a comment that if we needed anything, we could have stayed with him or what have you. But. I hadn't seen his comment, but that was really nice of him. So he recognized us when we walked into Tehachapi. That's funny. All right, coming out of a resupply that included a Walmart, so that's a big resupply. And, and five days. And we're going for five days, we think. So we're heavy. What you at? What you at? Uh, 27. 33. 30.7. 30 I don't know. Yes, probably and I weighed in at 35 points something. You gonna grab that, look around, grab our trash and stuff, and let's get moving. Alrighty. 9.15. We are finally getting on trail. But I have to say that even my feet right now feel so much better with clean socks. So this constant sand and dirt that we're hiking in just gets caught up in the socks. And so I pre-washed my socks yesterday in the sink for literally like, I don't know, at least five minutes a sock. I was rinsing out, rinsing and wringing out dirt to get it like out of the sock fibers before I even put them in the washer. Um, they just get so filled and caked with dirt day after day and then that rubs and creates blisters and hot spots anyway so much better today after doing laundry and having some clean socks on dumping the dirt out of the shoes all right trail register 514 field trip checked in we just met Cotton and hum Hummingbird, Puke and Rally and Potato, uh, Honeybee, Yesterday, oh, Twinkle Toes, we knew a Twinkle Toes. Um, yesterday, Cinnamon checked in, so let's go get moving. We've been climbing. 80 degrees this morning in the desert and it feels warm for sure but after we do this climb the boys tell me the second half of the day should not be too bad
Over here it looks like a small airport. Some airplanes out there. Alright, little water breaks over and we're gonna continue this climb for two and a half miles. That's an awesome tent site. Somebody kind of created that nice little nook. Shady and protected. Be a nice break spot too. Alrighty, we are following this dirt road for a few miles. All right, wowza, huh? Yeah. That dirt so road, hot. we're not even done the dirt road, but it's hot and hard. And 88 degrees in this direct sun, we're, we're hot. And what are we still five miles to water, maybe? Hopefully, a source. Oof. All right, so that was a healthy break in the shade. Um, man, it got hot. And we were walking on this road. Now there's a little bit of shade on the road, but I'm actually using my umbrella which I've been carrying along here um, and haven't even used it. I didn't even use it through the Mojave, but I don't have a good way to rig it up right now. I haven't figured that out, so I'm just holding it. I'm not sure if it's helping or not. But we need to get five miles to a water source. We are all either out of water or have like a quarter liter left trying to conserve it. Oh, a little bit of breeze and a little bit of shade is so nice. It's hot, hot, hot on this dirt road. And this is what we've been waiting for. Water source. Oh, thank you God for water. I just want to drop them off this. All right. So, we can be patient here at this trickle, or just scoop it out of this. You scooped it? <laughs> That's cat dog. We met Benedict from Austria. He just hiked on. A lot of other people are, well, some people are tenting here and some people hiked on. We made it out of that water source. Our filters are running really slow, so we need to either clean them really good with like boiling hot water or we need to get some new ones which obviously won't happen for at least a week probably so we are full up on water because there's not water for what 16 miles 
So. So we are actually looking for a place to stop at any point now. A um, couple of tent sites coming up, but we do know a whole bunch of people ahead of us left that watering hole, <laughs> left that water source, and we're headed to some tent sites. So we're actually trying to find something maybe even before that, but it's not looking very flat. Um, yeah, so we have some people's feet are hurting with blisters and raw spots. We're coming out of town heavy on resupply. Had some climbs today and some heat earlier, so we are happy with getting to 20 which we are at um, and so now we're just trying to find a place to call it a day and set up. Yeah, there was a, somebody did make a comment about a fox den with it pups. It is cute. It's really cute. I'm sure we were thinking of the same thing. Look at that. I just turned around and look at that. It's kind of behind that. Yeah, wow. That's a big moon. We have been up the hill checking camp spots. We have Elliot. Elliot and Asher dropped their packs to go check around the corner. <laughs> Scouting it out, trying to find a flat spot. What's the report? Oh, there's, there's some nice tent sites over there. Available? Two open? Tents. Well, well, one tent, one guy counts. There's like thing. 10 tent sites. Tons awesome. of space. Yeah. yeah. Asher came up here to evaluate this one and says it's just as flat so we're gonna take the one with a view <laughs> all right so we have a couple options we just got to move the old dry cow patties out of the way and it's nice and flat nice look at this this one hardly has any right here flat and hardly any cow patties and Incredible view this way. And Ben, have you seen the moon? Yeah. Look at that thing. Awesome. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Um, what was this? Day 28? Uh, yeah, I think so. So this could be good night. Looks like a full or almost full moon. And that looks really pretty Ouch. over there. So this might be good night from day 28.